to the virtual groom room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I am bringing you another shaving video. My choice of soap today is going to be from grooming department. This is Otium. Now, Otium is in the Nye base, which is now completely vegan. Um, in the Aeon release, it was a vegetable-based soap. There was some animal byproduct in it, I believe. <laughs> this one, on the other hand, he's made entirely vegan, so it's now suitable for people that like that, I guess. The scent on this... It's a, the way I would describe it, it's like a dark, um, earthy floral. There's definitely like an overtone of floral sweetness, but it, it has like this dark, dirty kind of like base. It's a very interesting scent. The scent strength is probably about five or a six out of 10. I have a decent amount of experience with this. I've used it quite a few times. For some reason, I just haven't made a video, but I guess we're here today. My razor of choice is gonna be my first Max Brecker razor. And this is the Dark Angel Wing Abalone. Uh, just a stunning razor. Um, this this isn't a really fancy Max Brecker razor, like no file work or anything. There are some notches there on the tank, but um, dude, I love this thing. Like this, this, this is my first straight razor. And uh, yeah, I love shaving with it. This is freshly honed. There were some dings in the end in the toe, so I needed to get rid of those and Max did that for me, he did a fantastic job. So that's what we're gonna be using for our razor. And our brush is my favorite brush and you guys that watch me know what that is and that's the Declaration B6. Let's get a load on, shall we? So let's load something up. Something that really annoys me about this Nye base is it doesn't stay still in the pot, in the tub, it, it's rotating and quite honestly that really pisses me off. Um, I don't know why it does that, but it makes it much harder to get like a good load. Let's add a little bit of water to the top of the soap here. Just so you can pick up more and I don't need to experience disco soap. I don't know if you can see it here, but it's spinning and it fucking winds me up. Disco soap, I call it. Let's get a decent load. It's a very interesting scent. That should suffice. Okay, let's whack that over there. Let's whack that over there. Get off the spectacalis. That's definitely not glasses in Spanish, by the way. Uh, let me grab a towel. After use, I just let the Lancaster towels kind of sit out so they can dry. Um, the red ones in need of a wash though, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> get the face wet and then we'll get to lathering up. So how are you guys? I hope you're all having a good Saturday thus far. I am doing well. Just preparing to move for the most part. Um, everything that's associated with that. I'm really looking forward to getting up to Portland, quite honestly. I'd be lying to you if I said I enjoyed Albuquerque. I, I, I just don't, but... There are advantages to living in Albuquerque over Portland, I can guarantee you. Um, cost of living is much, much cheaper. I know living in Portland, I'm gonna have less disposable income. But quite frankly, um, the way I see it is what's the point of having disposable income if you, there's nothing to do. And that's kind of how I feel living here. If you're from Albuquerque, I'm sorry, but I think it sucks. Um, <laughs> and that is what it is. Different strokes for different folks. This, it definitely has like a clear earthiness. Very nice. Okay, I think that should suffice. Let's get the water. Okay, there's like no water, so crater, screw up, squirt some water in with our nerdy squirt bottle. I call it nerdy, by the way, because when I first started using it, 
That's exactly what DK said. He said a nerdy squirt bottle, so now it's known as the nerdy squirt bottle. So the difference in face fill to these different bases There isn't much. Um, I find the face fill between Nye and Kairos to be pretty damn similar. Which isn't a bad thing because the face fill is nice. So there definitely is that. But at the same time, my, my preference when it comes to face fill is a bit more density. And I feel that's a way it could certainly improve. And that's overall why I prefer Kaizen to Kairos, just because of that density more fun to use. I'm still waiting on that bloody Valet. It's been two months. So, <laughs> I mean, I hate to sound like a twat, but I, I don't know how much work he has when he charges $500 for a brush. And yes, I know, that's a lot of money. Before you say I would never spend that much money on a brush. I, uh, I did, so <laughs> I'm waiting for it. Do I think it's gonna be better than this? I'm not sure. Um, this is such a good knot, I don't see how it's easy to improve much from here. But I guess who knows, like that remains to be seen. Loose hair, it happens every shave. It's gonna happen with hand tied knots, the loose hair, so just prep for that really. How's the, still a bit too dry. So we're gonna work it. Nerdy squirt bottle. <laughs> Let's get that on there. So I'm looking for a bit of a thinner lather and um, these bases, well, I wouldn't say thinner, but at least kind of like really low structure. Nothing too dense or over the top and these bases kind of like lend themselves perfectly to that. The thing that annoys me about these bases is just the, it's got, they have a fairly narrow hydration band in the sense that you can't add a lot of water. If you do, you're probably gonna drown it. And then uh, it goes from having low structure, deep, good density to very low structure, zero density, because you've somehow managed to drown it. That for me is the two, is the biggest difference for the most part between this and Kaizen. Performance is quite close, but overall, like the overall shaving experience, I, I do much prefer Kaizen to the grooming department bases. Just being honest, not that these aren't very good, because they are. Just get that here. Very nice. Awesome. I think we're good. Cool, okay. Excellent, okay. Let's get shaven. So let me dry off my hands here. Okay, so our razor of choice today, as I showed you at the start of the video, is this Max Sprecher A8 with Dark Angel Wing Abalone Scales and a Barber's Notch. Let's get to shaving. So what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna change it up in this shave 
actually, in fact, I'm not gonna do it on this shave, I'm gonna do it on another shave, but I'm gonna start using a uh, towel to collect the lather instead of the, the pet, because the water spots are annoying. I feel I'm really getting my stroke pattern down, which is obviously very useful because it means shaving is more efficient. Cool, switch sides. Very easy. Great performing soap. Max's edge is just immense. Cool, that's first pass. Pretty quick. Let's get some water on the face. Very nice. Did a good job as well, like good hair reduction on that first, but on the first pass. Can't really mount. Okay, let's get the second pass. Don't need crazy density here, crazy structure, just need a slick surface and I've got that. The, the best example of that is look at Dave's card lab, Dave, Dave Card's lathers. They're not these big voluminous lathers. They're actually more like this, but they're very slick and they work very well for him. This is a great edge, Max. Do the mustache. Get rid of the lather there so I can stretch. <laughs> do that on the other side. Cool, go down again. Then we'll just do a clean up. Get that, just the inverted pass really, which all I need is that.
fantastic. What a shave. <laughs> very, very nice. Cool, let me just go. I think we're good guys, I think that's the shave. What an awesome razor. <laughs> it just is. I'm, I'm very used to it, yeah, I overhydrated this. And this is kind of what I mean. very easy to do but it's a it's a great rate it's a great soap okay let me rinse this from my face and i will be back for the post shave i'll see you soon hey guys it's uh post shave time so that's our so shave today and i'm really happy with those results got it done quick what well, like i should be aiming for really our post shave today is going to be something i love using ariana and evans post shave serum Hoshitsu Elixir, uh, it, it just works so well for me. Well, wow. okay, fantastic. So let me go everything I used today and I'll let you guys go. Our soap of choice was Grooming Department Otium, which I'll show you here. This was in his uh, new reinvented nye base uh this is a lovely scent if you if you're a flan a fat flan oh i hope you're not a flan because that would make you a dessert if you're a fan of uh kind of like dark florals this is a remarkable job um he did a great job with this scent. this is probably my favorite scent by him after my shebra awesome razor was legendary to me this is the dark angel wing abalone Max Sprecher with this really nice barber's notch, eight eights with these cool notches in the tang here. Love that razor. I mean, it's the one I'm most used to using, so kind of the the strokes just come very, very naturally to me. Our brush was the Declaration Grooming B6 with the Autumn Glory colorway. And finally, our post, which I put away like an idiot, I think. No, I didn't. It's over here. Our post was the Hoshitsu Elixir by Ariana and Evans. A product that works really well for me. If you haven't seen my review of that, check that out. I released that a few days ago. It's a great product and I really couldn't complain. But yeah, that's the video today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you're new around here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I'm getting very, very close to a thousand subs. If you like the video, give it a big thumb up. If you dislike the video, give it a thumb down and tell me why. I'm sure we can talk about it. Apart from that, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Groomer. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day. And goodbye for now.